Hello, today we're going to talk about the RAND function. So when you're using Word, you typically don't think of functions, probably, and that makes sense. There are a few times when they exist, and this is one of them. So this is a pretty random, literally random. So if I want to get some random text generated, and there's no reason to do this other than just practicing with Word, and sometimes you don't want to mess around with a full-blown essay, so you just want, might want a wall of random text. So this formula starts with an equal sign, the name is rand, which is short for random. It has two arguments or parameters, or there's two numbers. So the first one is the number of paragraphs that you want. So if I do something like five, and I do a comma and a space, and then I type the number of sentences I want per paragraph, so a two, and I close my parentheses. Once I press enter, I'm gonna have five paragraphs with two sentences per paragraph. And I press enter and it works. And you can see there are five paragraphs each with two sentences. Now, right, this isn't a substitute for writing an essay. It's just a way, quick way to generate a whole bunch of text, and it's a great way to practice Word, right, or just practice your formatting. And you can see it's some weird stuff about Word. And so if that didn't work, then that means you spelled something wrong. You are not allowed to have any text in front of it. While we're on the subject, let me show you the other one of the random ones. So it's equals L-O-R-E-M. Lorem, short for, or I guess it's the second half of ipsum lorem, which is a placeholder text which has existed for hundreds of years, and it works similarly. So if I do like three, four, it's going to be three paragraphs, four sentences a piece, and I press enter, and I've now got three Latin paragraphs. Don't ask me to translate that because I don't have the ability. So that was lorem, and that was rand, and those are two functions that you can use in Word to generate random text. You might find some uses for it. Um, but now, if you're asked to do that, you know what it is and how it's supposed to work.